Welcome to Dead Boy's Corner, and today what we're going to do is mod RE Engine games with Fluffy Mod Manager. Uh, the last video I did on it was uh, a while back. That was when I was using Steam Metadata Editor. But um, because of an update that doesn't allow you to actually edit it, like the um, the VDF files that you can actually like manage with Steam. Uh, that method no longer works, so we're gonna do a method that should theoretically work always, unless uh, a a Capcom wants to be on like something else. But that is neither here or there. Anyway, switching to desktop in about three, two, one. Bah. Okay, so now that we're at the desktop, we're going to download a uh, fluffy mod manager, which I'll have um, all the links for this stuff in the description. But after you download uh, a fluffy mod manager, what we're just going to do is we're going to extract it. Uh, I created a folder named mod tools in my home directory. And I'm just going to create one called fluffy for this one. And then I'm just going to grab all these files and just paste it in there. And then for the next step, we're just going to add it as a non-Steam game, and then we're going to browse to where we have our fluffy mod manager. So mod tools, fluffy, mod manager dot exe, add, and now it would be in mod manager. We're going to go to properties, and we're just going to name this fluffy mod manager go to compatibility and we're going to set this as proton experimental and then run it it's going to open up like that but it's not going to be able to actually find any of the games that it supports because what we have to do is we have to point them to a location that it supports. So we will go to Proton Tricks. Okay, yeah, there we go. Go to Proton Tricks and then we'll go to our fluffy mod manager prefix. Just like that. Wait for it to like load. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Now that it's open, we'll go to select default prefix, just like that. And we're going to go to browse files. Now this is the prefix of your fluffy mod manager. So this is the directory of where the mod manager will actually be able to see where your games are. So for the one that we're trying to mod, uh, uh, Street Fighter 6 in my case, uh, yours might be different. It just depends on what game you want to like mod out of the ones that it supports. So we're going to browse files in that, and then we're going to go to common. So we're going to go back one folder so that we have Street Fighter 6 and go into drive C. And then we're just going to drag that and link it. That essentially creates a link saying it's like, hey, 
in uh, the folder that Fluffy Mod Manager can read from. This is where my Street Fighter 6 install is. So now that that's set up, we can go back into Fluffy and just open it up. Can close that up. That. And then we'll just go to, where is it? Street Fighter 6. And then choose game folder. Choose the game's install folder, my computer, C drive, and then it will pop up our Street Fighter 6 directory that we linked. So we can press open on that. Now it doesn't have any mods, but it is linked. So now all we just do is the mod that we have downloaded for, in this case, I'm doing the Goku mod. Uh, it replaces uh, Ryu. So we just drag that into there and then we select it. And then refresh mod list. And now we can close out of that and open up Street Fighter. And as we're in Street Fighter, we clearly see that Goku installed. So let's switch this over. Anyway, that is how to set up Fluffy Mod Manager on uh, the Steam Deck using the power of Simlinks. Most m mods you can do by like Simlinking folders. It is incredibly useful and pretty easy to do. Anyway, if you guys liked the video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Anyway, thanks for stopping at Dead Boy's Corner. Peace, and have a good one.